In recent years, agriculture has seen an increased use of plastic in sheet or net form. From cultivation to horticulture, this plastic can be replaced by jute-based materials in its different forms. Here in Mohorkunju, jute non-woven fabrics are being laid over the bases of three different materials. Plastic, a non-woven fabric and coir by Nidjaft. One of the area now open up is on agrotextiles. That is jute non-woven using uh, for uh, agriculture, soil conservation works, mainly mulching, nursery, erosion control, and it can have a huge potential of bulk use of jute. So we have taken already uh, quite a number of demonstrations. And I hope that in the near future, we will have a, quite a number of, uh, quite a good breakthrough in this area. Hello. The idea is to create a grass mat that could be transferred to places like gardens, terraces or lawns. A thin layer of soil is spread over these covers. Now the grass seeds are being sowed. But we can't see their growth immediately, as this would take some time. So let us go somewhere else. In 2010, the director of the National Institute of Jute and Allied Fibers Technology, or NIRJAFT, along with the scientists, visited Krishi Vigyan Kendra under the Bidhan Chandra Krishi Vishwavidyale. The meeting was held at Kalyani to discuss the prospect of using jute non-woven fabric as mulch. Demonstration plots were selected at Goyeshpur of Nodia district. The objective was to see the effect of jute-based mulch in farming. These tomato seedlings were planted to test the results. Different substances like white polythene, black polythene, rice straw, jute agrotextiles and banana leaves were used as mulch. This was done to carry out a comparative study of the yields in relation to different mulching plots. And the results that came out were certainly encouraging. Over 1,000 miles away from Nadia, this is a strawberry field at Abohar in Fazilka district of Punjab. Abohar is in a semi-arid agroclimactic zone with harsh winters and summers. The project here would test the performance of jute non-woven fabric in an environment that is very different from Nadia. Used as mulch, these fabrics were found to retain more moisture in the soil than what is retained with plastic or in a bare field. Uh, all the thickness of uh, this jute is giving similar results like in a single layer, double layer and triple layer. So uh, there is no need use of uh, layer and layer and thick, thick uh, jute layer for the mulch. So we can use only single layer for the mulch and better results. Jute non-woven has an excellent quality of water retention and prevents soil erosion too. A layer of jute non-woven fabric can absorb water up to six times its mass and this leads to a swelling in the cloth. The inherent structure of jute non-woven cools off soil temperature and reduces moisture evaporation to a great extent, even in a dry or semi-arid zone. So this should work in this part of Punjab. The project ended with a higher yield of strawberry. 
Even the farmers reported an unusual harvest of strawberry in late April, which earned for them an unexpected profit. This is the pot made out of uh, needle punch non-oven fabric and uh, this, this is made out of jute, not from the very good quality jute, it is the waste jute. There is no chance of root damage. A root can grow through the fabric also. That is why uh, during uh, growth, root growth, it can penetrate through the non-oven fabric. We are back at Mohor Kunju. The grass mats are to be transferred to Nate Jaff's premises. Let us make our world green in all respects. Avoid plastic and use jute and other natural fibers. <laughs> 